to you wherever you may be this is your girl your sister from another mother yes so we are here again thank you so much for the love thank you for coming back to vios actually i have a video to show you we are my sister my mother yes she talked about marriage be an eye opener to us. I just have a few questions for her. So if you see this video, let me share so that she will see it. And answer this question for us. Some of us are married. That's just the truth. I know what she was talking about. She was actually advising singles. But those of us that are married, that have made mistakes, what is the way forward? That is my first question. What is the way forward? Should we leave our husband or should our husband leave us as the wives? Now you are married. You know, this, and because the Bible said you should not divorce your husband except for a particular reason, which to some now is outdated. Let me use that word, it's outdated. But as Christians, you there are certain things that will, no one wants you to leave your home. What is the way forward? What advice do you have for married people? I know from patience you move to endurance. From endurance you move to suffering. But now you are already there. You are suffering. Yes. Some married people are smiling. They are suffering. What is the way forward? That is my question. I think that is what I have for now. Then if you have any comment, please state it below. I'm going to leave the clip so that you also will listen to what she has got to say. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like. Bye. We love you. There is no institution on earth where your Christianity is tried like the institution of marriage. When you get married, you move from patience to endurance. From endurance to long suffering. There's no institution where you need forgiveness and where you need to give forgiveness like the institution of marriage. Close one eye in prayer. Open the other one in looking before you get married. Say love is blind. Love is blind. Marriage is the eye hope now. Look before you leap. There are men today and there are women today that will have gone faster further and better than where they are today if not that they missed it in marriage there are people whose lives and destinies will have mattered if not that they missed it in marriage if you're not caught into the decision of marriage is a different thing but if you miss it in marriage i can conclusively tell you that over 90 percent of your life is at risk so look very well before you go into marriage consider four major things number one is spiritual maturity be born again and when you are born again grow in the lord don't just get married now beg your pardon don't get born again now and then the next thing is marriage marriage is not for boys and girls walk with the lord be sound spiritually because it takes the the the, the spiritual strength the strength on the inside to carry the weight on the outside you also need physical maturity when your spouse introduces you we should not be looking for you on the ground you are 19 years old or you are 16 years old you are 11 years old marriage is not the next thing you can pray about marriage but it's not the next thing go and pass jam and get ready number three you must be emotionally mature there are times when as a man your wife will want to cry over your shoulders over your shoulders and women we have the gift of crying i may not go into that tonight but if you are not mature emotionally if your life is still tied to the aprons of your mother while your wife is crying eh, eh, you'll be crying ah, and your child will be crying Meh. so it will become a family of town criers so you must be emotionally mature number four you must be financially mature i'm not being materialistic but i am being realistic you cannot claim none 
after nine months of marriage Kirikiri can claim the person so one of you should have a job and don't wait for the government to get you a job think and do something my husband and I are full time ministers of the gospel we are also full time business people I don't know the color of our offering at church and I don't want to know I'm a kingdom whatever so do something with your life don't just sit down and be speaking in tongues at 11 a.m. The angels don't even understand what you are saying. It is a sign of laziness. Wake up and do something with your life. I've written and published 80 books. My books are on Amazon. Every month, something comes to my American account from that. Think. I don't go to bed when my mates go to bed. I told God many years ago that I don't want to die as a woman. I want to die as an institution. That after I'm gone, they will still be doing research about my life. I don't want to be an ordinary wife. I don't want a regular anointing. You must be ready to pay the price. I want my husband to wake up once in a while, just stare at me while I'm sleeping and give thanks to the Lord. So invest into your life now. And do something with your life. All this gallifanting around and having 15 friends, it won't pay you. It won't do you any good. Do something with your hand. Work with your hand. It is not every woman or every wife that the husband can send packing. When the man remembers that if you go, the blinds are going, the TV is going, the carpet is going to say, we should not be fighting this homo. You know? We should not be fighting. So invest into your life as a single person. Is it good for a man to put code for info? May he wife he don't know. Man, I write comment. Is it good? Man, I said the truth too. Is it good for a woman may put code for her phone? May a husband or boyfriend may not know the code? Is it good? Man, I write comment. I want me to see you in a comment. Is it good? I will fear conscience, fear no alimentation. Is it good for a man to put code for his phone? May his wife don't know. Man, I write comment. Is it good? Man, I said the truth too. Is it good for a woman may put code for her phone? May a husband or boyfriend may not know the code? Is it good? Man, I did write comment. I want me to see you in a comment. Is it good? I will fear conscience, fear no alimentation.